Jesus, we thank you, Lord. We thank you for another day, another chance, another opportunity to give you praise and to give you glory. Today's scripture starts at Genesis chapter 22, verse 1. And it says, And it came to pass after these things that God did tempt Abraham and said unto him, Abraham, he said, Behold, here I am. And he said, Take now thy son, thy only son Isaac, whom thou lovest, and give thee into the land of Moriah, and offer him there for a burnt offering upon one of the mountains, which I will tell thee. And Abraham rose up early in the morning, and took his young son with him, and his son Isaac gathered wood for the burnt offering and rose up and went upon the place in which God had told him. Father God, sometimes when you give us things, you bless us things, God, you use it as temptation to see, do we love that thing more than you? We pray that when the godly temptation comes, God, that we pass the test. Sometimes our biggest flaw is when you give us what we ask for. You give us the blessing. You give us the healing. You give us the peace, the joy, the overflow, the abundance, the prosperity. And sometimes when you give us those things, we stray away. We pray that when you give us the thing we love so much, just like Abraham loved his son, that we pass the test, God. Lord, you are so good and you are so gracious. You are so merciful that you will forgive us, God. But sometimes the best protection is provision. So as we perfect, prepare for what you're going to give us, let us make sure and keep in the back of our minds that we do not fall into the trap of forgetting the blesser and getting so wrapped up in the blessing. Lord, we thank you for your mercy, your grace, and your love, and your protection. We thank you for your healing. We pray Psalms 91 over us. We pray you continue to keep us, continue to keep our family, continue to keep our minds, continue to keep our hearts. We love you, and today we trust you in your soul. In Jesus' name, amen.